so it it has room to go if it wanted to go there today um but yeah <laughs> bummer that i got stopped out but you know it's all right the market is just kind of chilling so we'll just let nvidia chill with it what's up guys happy friday i uh, hope you had a good trading day to uh, take you into the weekend i had a decent day not too bad um unfortunately I got stopped out before uh it made the move that i was anticipating but that's okay some days it just be like that um i trade in nvidia but real quickly we'll go over the spy chart so um what I noticed this morning uh, when I woke up was that in the pre-market, we were gapping up above R4 on the intraday. I have this weekly level here at 429.32, and I have a weekly level down here, or daily weekly, um, one of the two, at 429 or 426.36. Um, so I'm interested definitely in this kind of area. We bounced around between it the past couple of days, um, about, kind of broke out of, of it a couple times, um, broke back below it. So... Um, I'm definitely interested in that. And since we've got R4 here, you know, I'm thinking if we can hold the top of R4 and this weekly level, we would really be bullish for the day. Um, but I, of course, wanted to see what would happen at the open. And you can see at the open, we just kind of hung out there, threw some wicks into it, couldn't quite get back above R4, and then lost it back down to this level, um, played it a little bit, you know, consolidated a bit, and then lost that too. Um, so I can show you too really quickly. I'll take the pivots off and show you where I got those um weekly and daily levels so if i go to the daily chart and i back it up a bit the um lower level that i was showing you so we've got those kind of like that um that area right so the lower level that i was showing you is the very tip of this candle right here so we've got this drop down here um so i mentioned it in a recap earlier this week that we've just kind of been playing this this level right so um i've got that one and the top one is more of a level that I would um, find to be a little bit more solid, right? So like the, the tips can work, um, but I really like the ones that have a little bit more touches. So um, we've got this kind of consolidation area consolidated here. You know, it's trying to, um, it tried to break above it, got down below it. So I like those two levels. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And um, let's bring it over to NVIDIA for the day. So NVIDIA um, on the higher time frame chart, what I like is this area here. So normally when I would see this by itself, I don't see it as a great range, right? I want a little bit more of like this. I want a little bit more, like this only really came down and tested one time. It touched the top a couple times. But what I see is that over here, we're trying to do that again. Like we're trying to get down to that area. We're trying to test it, trying to touch it. Um, so I like this as, a, as like a range and we're at the top of it right now. Um, and you can see just kind of how it struggled to kind of get above it, broke above it, came back down, lost it, shot back above it. Now we're back down it again. So you can see this area is kind of like um, an area of support and resistance, a little bit of an inflection point on NVIDIA. Um, so if I take it over to the five minute chart here, and then let's put my pivots on. Uh, pivots. So similar to the SPY, right? So we've, we're gapping up in the morning. Um, here's the level I'm interested in. We're gapping up, uh, we're above R4. So we're consolidating above R4. Um, very interesting area. What my initial plan was, um, was to actually, if this broke down and pulled back to um, R this, this R3 area with this um, daily or weekly level, if the SPY was strong and it actually broke above R4 and held for the rest of the day, I really wanted to take this for a bounce. But when I was watching um, the SPY at this, when we were at this area, it just was not going to break above R4. It was just holding below it. I didn't feel comfortable in a long position. Um, I actually think if the SPY had been bullish, NVIDIA would have gone as well because the ladder was stacked. You know, we just had asks to, um, to the top side and there really wasn't anything to the downside. So this is one of those situations where... Um, the market actually had more control over the stock than the actual stocks L2. And that can happen sometimes. And it can really trick you out if you're not watching um, the market or, or sector around the same time. Um, so like for, for instance, if I hadn't been watching the SPY or a correlated um, ETF or sector like QQQ, um, I would have been at this level thinking this is bullish because the asks were all stopped, uh, stacked to the top side and there was nothing down here. Um, and it definitely, it definitely held. It was, it was really trying to um, break back above it, 
but um, yeah, the market just said differently. So I went with what the market said and that made me feel a little bit safer. I actually took this for a short. I um, almost got stopped out. Uh, it was about 15 cents for my stop out. I had my stop at uh, 229.75 and this candle came up to, uh, I think it was 229.59. So I was really, really close to getting stopped out on this. Um, the market broke back down. I took a partial um, at previous day's close. Um, it was hanging out for a while. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a little bit more off because I'm not sure. Um, the president was speaking at that time and it did a little pop here. And unfortunately it stopped me out at my uh, break even point. Um, you know, hindsight 2020 and what I do do sometimes is I'll move my, um, <clears throat> my final stop out just to above the level because sometimes it will come back and try to get back above the level and shoot down. I, you know, I, once I got stopped out, I thought about taking another entry on this, but it's Friday and I just kind of wanted a good Friday. So, you know, it ended up making the move. My next partial was going to be at S3. And if the market really sold off today, I wanted to um, get all out around, um, I believe it's 217 is kind of like the middle of that higher time frame range, which um, it definitely could go to uh, if it was to move um, in that direction based on its ATR, which is um, just shy of 15 bucks. So it, it has room to go if it wanted to go there today. Um, but yeah, <laughs> bummer that I got stopped out, but you know, it's all right. The market is just kind of chilling. So we'll just let Nvidia chill with it. Um, but yeah, decent, decent day, decent move. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys had a good day and have a great weekend. I will catch you next week. Peace.